Happening today, there's a push to protect you and the environment from toxic chemicals found in some products we use every day. It comes on the heels of a toxic chemical leak at Bradley International Airport into the Farmington River. Yeah, Channel 3's Eva Zamaris is joining us live from the Windsor boat ramp where there will be a listening session today to evaluate how to move forward. Eva? Good morning to you both. PFAS was actually developed decades ago by accident, but it's stuck around and it's in products that we use each and every day. But the scariest part is that there are major health risks associated with it, including cancer. This might look a lot more like a bubble bath in the road, but what it really was is a toxic spill of white foam, also known as firefighting foam or PFAS. It leaked from a private hangar at Bradley International Airport back in June, and it went into the Farmington River. It's a chemical mainly used by firefighters to put out certain fires, but it's in products that we use daily, including fabric softeners, some detergents, and stain-resistant carpet cleaners. Connecticut's Attorney General William Tong has joined more than 20 other state attorneys general in urging passage of federal legislation to address PFAS contamination, including new reporting requirements, limitations on using PFAS, and remediation funding. And today, the Attorney General will have a listening session here in Windsor to discuss possible future action to protect public health and our environment. That will be happening at 11 o'clock this morning, so just a couple of hours from now, right here at the Windsor Boat Ramp. Now, be sure to stay with us on air and on our app for the latest on this story today. Live in Windsor this morning, I'm Eva Zamaris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right.